everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is RC and happy St. Patty's Day. I hope you guys are having fun out there drinking for me if you are legally allowed to drink <laughs> or partake. And yeah, I'm excited. So for today, I am gonna watch, <clears throat> I was trying to find like a St. Patrick's Day movie to watch, but I guess there's not really a lot of St. Patty's Day movies. Like I know that like there's a leprechaun, but I'm not doing a horror movie. And then other than that, it's like, Drum, like dramas that take place in Ireland or around Ireland or have an Irish person in them. So that's, I don't know how I would feel about that if I were Irish, <laughs> to know that most of the movies from my country are basically considered St. Patrick's Day movies. I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point. So today the movie we're gonna watch, which I actually don't remember the name of. <laughs> what is this movie called? It's called The Guard. <laughs> I actually came across it in my St. Patrick's Day movie search. I guess it's considered a pretty good movie. I saw like a article that had like the top, I wanna say it was like top 10 dark comedies and I like a dark comedy. This was like number three. I completely forgot what it's even about. I just know that Don Cheadle's in it. And then uh, there's the like other guy who I've seen in other movies. I can't remember his name right now. It's either Brandon Gleason or Brendan Gleason. Either way, it's, it's his last name is Gleason. But yeah, so him and Don Cheadle are in it. I don't know when this movie came out. So without further ado, let's get into this movie. Really excited. <laughs> what the hell is that? They keep the smile from my face. I hope it's, I mean, look, I really do love a dark comedy and I hope it is funny. Let's get into this. In three, two, one. <laughs> Fucking poses. <laughs> Fucking posers. Fucking posers. You think the way you live's okay. All right, I mean, nothing's really happening. There's like got four guys in a car right now driving, so I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, actually, you know what? While this is actually, while this is going, this is, reminds me of, um... Did the car crash? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, well, that started. <laughs> I was just gonna say something about the landscape. What a beautiful fucking day. I need, I really want to learn how to do an Irish accent so bad. Like, I think I can kind of do a British accent, but uh, Scottish and Irish are like the two that I would love to like really get. I think I can maybe do an Australian accent too. I don't want to like act like I could. I wonder if this will be like a mystery, you know? Like a who done it? Who the fuck are you? Aiden McBride, Sergeant. Don't know yet. Who the fuck are you? I can't do it. I'm sorry. I might end up doing that a lot, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing here? Get out of here, Mick, or I'll tell your mommy what you've been up to. Sure, you got what you need anyways, Jerry. It's all good, clean fun, huh? Does he work with the police? Or was he just... Is he just there taking pictures? I'm worried about that. He has an interest in the photographic arts. I can only... Arts. Arts. He looks like Brendan Foley. I knew his father. He ran off with my second cousin. He was a, what, uh, what do you call it? What do you call uh, it? Paraplegic. Spastic, yeah. What? <laughs> if, I, if any Irish people out there want to like, I don't know, I was going to say teach me how to speak in with their accent. I don't. <laughs> if anyone that knows how to do an Irish accent wants to, to let me know how to correctly do it, that'd be awesome. Five and a half. Oh, what the fuck would that mean? There's a film called Eight and a Half, Fellini. There's another film called Seven. With Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Maybe this is the killer's five and a half, half victim. Interesting theory. So what you're saying is, we may well have a serial killer on our hands. Could this go the way of like hot fuzz? I'm kind of getting like, the more this goes on, I'm kind of getting really excited. Cause I'm like, oh, no wait, I don't wanna get my hopes up too much though. Cause every time I get my hopes up, I, I get so excited and then the movie ends up not being that great. I just don't want that to happen here. I, but I, I don't want to have low expectations, but I also don't want to have high expectations. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping this goes like the way of like Hot Fuzz and the way of like how they did that and the comedy of that in a way. And even like, I mean, the murder mystery of it all. That'd be cool. I've got some information about that murder last night. Hot murder. Yeah, how many fucking murders have you had in the last 24 hours? Well, that's for us to know and you to find out. 
That doesn't make any sense. <gasps> wait, isn't that, wait, isn't that the dude? Wait, what's his name? Oh my god, what is his name? From, um, Game of Thrones. Wait, he needs to stand still. I cannot keep up with him walking back and forth. Occult overtones, yeah. Do you even know what I mean when I use the term occult? Alistair Crowley. Is this gonna go the way of Hot Fuzz, though, for real? Shit. Okay, at the end of this, I need to find out when this came out so that I can um, see which came first. Out of nowhere, he rears up on me, screaming for his money. So I grab hold of the nearest thing that came into my hands. I happen to be this antique blunderbuss. My granddaddy got me some words. Antique what? Blunderbuss. Even I know that. I caught that. <laughs> I'm just gonna apologize in advance. If I end up sneezing about this movie, I'm so sorry. Haul in this Joey Brennan, see what he has to say for himself. See if we can charge him with wasting police time. I'm on it, Serge. I'm on it, Serge. He thinks he's in fucking Detroit. What? <laughs> what? I'm also gonna apologize right now. I don't think I'm gonna talk all that much for the, through this. I'm worried. And also the subtitles are going kinda slow here. So I don't know exactly what they're saying until like a little bit later. <laughs> like there's a delay on it. The vessel we are looking for is a 60 foot ship called the Annabelle Lee. It's Don Cheadle. Hey Don. Now DEA believe it to have somewhere in the vicinity of $500 million worth of cocaine on board. May well be. Uh, that's half a billion lads. Was unnecessary, but okay. <laughs> now, the men we believe to be involved in the trafficking are Francis Sheehy Skeffin. Is that Sir Davos? Next. Oh, whoa. Crazy eyes. Whoa. Clive Cornell out of London. Jason Schwartzman? <laughs> and James McCormick out of Limerick. Bootleg chain chain. Now, these men are highly dangerous. And if. They're dead. They died. They're dead. Yes, Sergeant. I thought only black lads are drug dealers. Oh, I thought they really got some meaning. I was not, I didn't think he was going there, Never mind. If you continue on in this vein, you can consider yourself under suspension. Oh, I doubt that. You doubt that? Boy, you got a set of balls on you top. He really does. I am shook. That's it, boy. You can consider yourself- You're not hunting four men, you're hunting three. How's that? McCormick is dead. What makes you think he's dead? Well, put it this way, I hope he's dead because they put him into the fucking morgue anyways. Oh, so he was. Oh, that's bootleg change item. Wow. I thought it was the guy he found at the car wreck. I thought all four of them were the ones at the car wreck. Schopenhauer. I'd say need you. Need you. You haven't even fucking read. Is that? Hold up. What is happening right now? What is that guy's name on the left? <laughs> is it Mark Strong? Oh, fuck it. Guards. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so you got Don Cheadle, M Mark Strong, I think that's his name. I just know him from Kingsman and Shazam, but mostly from Kingsman. And then Sir Davos. What is this movie? <laughs> you weren't speeding. I know you weren't. One of the back lights out there, guard. Nah, no, you're fine there. What do you fucking stop us for then? You stupid fucking cunt. In America, <laughs> this would end very quickly. Nice friend you got there. That is English, you know. So what can you do? IDs, please. From Dublin, are you? Oh no, he's gonna die. Yeah, I knew he was name? gonna die. Let's get this over with, for fuck's sake. What's the name? McBride. Oh, McBride. McBride. We know all about you, McBride. You know nothing about me. Ah, oh, stop, McBride. It's no use. Stop, McBride. I knew he was gonna die. Run around him. There's a good worried. lad. I'll take it as it comes if it's all the same to you. Show you up for the coward you are. Shoot yourself. You talked that very well, I'll say that for him. Well, that explains how Don Cheadle and what's his face are gonna become partners. <sighs> R.I.P. McBride, we barely knew ye. I thought you'd be in this longer, but I guess you're done. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What is this? What is that movie he is watching? I'm disturbed. Sergeant Boyle? Ah, listen, I think there's been a mix-up. You have the wrong night. I'm sorry? You're from the agency. No, my husband is missing. <laughs> is he waiting on us? Ah. Uh... Name? Aidan McBride. Aidan McBride. Not the guard, Aidan McBride. Yes, he started working here today. Wait, it was his first day? Listen, I'm sure there's an innocent explanation, as they say. We still haven't heard anything by tomorrow evening. That'll be 24 hours, and I can put out a... Um, a Countywide alarm. Aww. Aiden McBride. Seriously, Ireland. Y'all got 
at some beautiful fucking lake. Ugh, it's just so beautiful out there. And I want to go there so bad. And I'm mad I never got a chance to go when I literally lived in England. <laughs> Is that what's his face? Is <laughs> that the Sarge or whatever? Is that him? Is it him? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? I know people talk a lot of shit about British, like uh, UK food. I'm gonna say UK. This is, I don't, Northern Ireland is whatever. I know people talk shit, a lot of shit about UK food, but honestly, that shit is bomb as fuck sometimes. Ficky pudding is my jam. Custard is my jam. I remember when they used to give us mousse in school for lunch. And, oh, quiche. That was when I learned I loved quiche. But I don't know. I didn't know they have, like, types of quiche. How you doing, man? Special agent, Wendell Everett, Federal Bureau of Investigation. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Oh. I thought. I just want to show you a few pictures, see if you've uh, seen any of these men. No, no, I can. I was food of that guy named Did you? And then she got my last go. Oh, hey man, I'm not be shot. Yeah, sure. The mug. What? What is happening? Special agent Wendell Everett out. So, seen this guy? Oh, the horse is so cute, though. Yeah. You don't speak English either. Huh? Mm hmm. Sorry, Don Cheadle, don't you know Eddie Murphy? So, you should be able to speak horse. Just saying. How was your day off? Energetic. Listen, something's come up and I'm not just talking about my cock. One of my men's gone missing. McBride, I suppose I just care about the road away. I'm like so engrossed in this. Let me try and hype myself up here. We got two murders. We've got a drug smuggling thing, which is basically by the people who are murdering people. Brian is dead and gay. <laughs> what was so fascinating? I had what I thought was a crank call saying the person responsible for McCormick's death was this lad Billy Devaney. Which one's Devaney, Italian? Yeah. <laughs> He's not Italian. Maybe whoever made the crank call saw Billy, saw Billy Devaney assaulting Brennan and decided to throw him in the frame for McCormick too. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow, he really is being them. It's them. There they are. God damn, that's she, he, and Cornell. Look at that, they're here. Wait, so then what about the occult stuff? Or was that, was that just them trying to figure out what the dealio was? Isn't that one, isn't one of them the cops that was like yelling at, uh, what's his face earlier? Like a donkey fucking hippopotamus. Oh. Oh, it's both of them. What? Like a, a donkey fucking a hippopotamus. It's party time. How is that a party? The guy on the right looks familiar. It's all there, yeah? Excuse me? It's all there. No, it's not all there. I've skimmed a couple of grand off the top. <laughs> this is the payoff. Why the fuck would I then cheat you out of your money? That would defeat the entire purpose of the entire fucking interaction. Fuck me. <laughs> what have you done up here, anyways? Heroin. You'll be getting a belt now, Eugene, if you carry on with that pack. Give it a hand here. It's McBride. Oh. Where is McBride's body? What? You've taken something. I have not. You've taken something. You didn't even act surprised, for fuck's sake. What in the hell are you doing? What in the ashtray shit is this? This is kind of a hard movie to kind of like comment on. Cause like, it's not that the movie's slow or anything. Like I think the pacing is really good. Um, I just think that because it is it itself, it's just a, it's a slow burn movie. I, I don't want to say it's not an exciting movie. I mean, I guess it's more character. You know when you hear tell about someone being liquidated, you know, by the mob, like, does it mean they've actually been turned into liquid? <laughs> no. Are you serious? <laughs> no, just kill. Yeah, I suppose turning someone into liquid would be too time consuming, huh? Not really. I mean, you would just pull Michael Myers or some shit and probably just throw him into like a wood chipper. 
I mean, something like that. We were just wondering if there was any reason that you could think of that your husband might have chosen to disappear. You're saying my husband is a criminal? And he is from Dublin after oh. all. Oh! So, when I was watching Leap Year, in that movie, they have issues with people from, like, just Dublin. So, I'm wondering, do a lot of people in Ireland have issues with Dublin? Because I have yet to see anyone be <laughs> happy when everyone, anyone, whenever anyone brings up Dublin. I have yet to see anyone happily talking about Dublin. <laughs> like, for some reason, everyone's just like, fuck oh, Dublin. I will say, though, this is, uh, it's comedic, but it's not like, like, it's what not like go? it's trying to be funny. Like, it's just like, oh, this is a situation what? that's happening, and these are the characters just American. doing their thing. Like, with Boyle, like, it doesn't seem like he, it's, it doesn't seem like an attempt every time of him just trying to be funny. It's like, it's just him existing. That know. makes him funny, Something I guess. Well, the blackmailing seemed to bother him. It's not often you come across that kind of integrity in our business. Hmm. Still, yeah, we can't have that. Uh, I miss pubs. I don't even drink anymore, but like, I miss pubs. I miss bangers and mash. What spotted dick? That's what it was. I love spotted dick. It's make your jokes, but I love it. <laughs> it's food, and I love it. Do you put custard on spotted dick? Because I think that's what I used to get. Whatever. <sighs> Lovely music, huh? Sorry, I'm probably like, completely ignoring like the m emotional moments and beats of this. Especially with him and his mom, but I think like I'm not. It's not that I don't care about that, those moments. I think I just I want. I'm looking for some excitement right now, and nothing exciting is hap really happening. It's it's just kind of moving at its own pace, and that's totally fine. I think I just I was hoping for like some maybe like a couple explosions here or there. <laughs> maybe like an explosion, but like a little more. I mean, so far only McBride has gotten. Killed. And like that's like the oh my god moment. Wow, how much of this movie is left? Because if he's already getting ready to leave, that's clearly the moment that it's gonna. It's only like 20 minutes, 28 minutes. Um, so I was insane. This is like usually the point that like it would things would turn around and they'd be like, oh shit, we gotta go. We can figure out to solve the case or whatever. You know, I lost my father a few years ago didn't really hit me at the time. It was only later that I... Oh, this mom did die. Look, I want to thank you for all your help, really. It's much appreciated. Take care of yourself, little Wendell. That's it. <laughs> How can I... What is going on with this movie? If this movie... <laughs> I, I have to assume this movie is going to end with them catching... She, he, oh fuck, I forgot their names. She, he, Lee, he, and shit. Liam. <laughs> you should get a dog. Or a parrot, maybe. I've always wanted a giraffe. What an elephant. That wouldn't work. I mean, you'd have to put in a cupola or something. You live outside. Yeah, I want an elephant. And I want pigs. The pigs I can get. The elephants I can't, obviously. But... That you lads were supposed to be down in Cork? It's called misinformation in the intelligence community. Okay, you want to be careful with that stuff. You all right there? Oh, it's a Dillinger. Dillinger? Dillinger. Ran out of the old prophylactics, but decided to chance it. We've all been there. He's gonna shoot him. Where were these girls from? Not from around here. Dublin. You've only yourself to blame. This is what I'm talking about. What is, what is with this weird hatred for Dublin? I admire your confidence, Sergeant. I admire yours. I think you've done for me. I think I have, yeah. Oh. Don't cry. Don't cry. Oh. Don't mock me. It's good enough for you. Oh, don't mock you. Fuck you. Oh, what? There's so many things I wanted to do. Then I guess you should have gotten them done before you came over to my house. Don't go to the airport. <laughs> Special Agent Wendell Everett. It's Jerry Boyle, Wendell. You gotta get back here. They're landing at Spittle tonight. Cork is a decoy. Decoy. Cork is a decoy. That... You ran into O'Leary? Well, he ran into me. I shot him. You shot him? In self-defense, like. Is he dead? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
is. He is no, yeah. No, no, it can't be right. It's cork. They're coming into cork. No, they're not. It was disinformation. Oh. Misinformation? <sighs> Idiot. Really? Like, if he just ran into O'Leary, like, why wouldn't you use that? Like, why wouldn't you take that as evidence that it's not going down in cork? say um as far as his character goes he they really i don't know if it's because of the actor himself i mean i'm sure like a part of it is because of the actor but i don't also don't know if it's just because of the, also the writing they really kind of made i'm glad they really did a good job at making him not um too unlikable or anything actually even when he's like has his unlikable moments like he's not even that unlikable because like i keep thinking back to like the things he was saying like to uh wendell right like you know i thought only black guys could be drug dealers or you know you should go to the projects but it's like if you think about it it's like it's kind of smart because he's kind of he gets the other person riled up but then he gets the information other from like any other actually i don't know like information that he needs he kill himself no he's murdered murdered I finished off one of the lads that did it. I have to go down now and start out the others. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry I didn't get to know you better. I'm not gonna even lie. I'm actually like, if this, if he dies, I might be like, I might actually cry. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> like I'm kind of upset. Where the fuck did you find those three? Ah, uh, put them out in the paper saying henchmen wanted. <laughs> Don't die on me, man. Don't die on me. Is that Wendell? <laughs> Bitch, you saw a black man. You knew that was him. <laughs> I call for backup. Nobody's got to come. It's just you and me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. But they wouldn't just half a billion, Wendell. You better you and me. get to this shit now because. Even if I get away with it, the big boys will be after me from then on. I'll have no fucking peace. All right, for you, you can go after the States. Where can I go after? It's the trouble with the Irish window. They'll never forget. Could go to Dublin. <laughs> Since apparently no one wants to be there. You're thinking, those men are armed and dangerous, and you've been an FBI agent, you're more used to shooting at unarmed women and children. Oh, fuck you, Sergeant. Are you going to help me or not? You better make a decision now, because we're wasting time. They're going to either get away, or people are going to get shot the fuck, fuck up, so... Hmm? Alright, let's go. Boyle and Cheadle. Is anybody you want me to call if you... No, don't have anybody. Just pin a medal to my body like with those lads coming home from Iraq. Thanks for coming back to help me, Wendell. I appreciate it. Alright, Boyle. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. If this is... Uh, I kind of was hoping that this would be the point where the big blowout would come in. But oh my god. <laughs> Good shot. It's a lot of practice. I like this music. It's very um like uh westerny. Oh, oh. We're shooting at the boat filled with lots and lots of drugs. is really far from the harbor or the port. Boyle isn't there, but I'm hope he's swimming back. He's probably gonna kill she just to make sure her daddy's dead, and then he's gonna come back to shore and then find Cheadle. Not dead. Oh, lucky shot. Don't be a sore loser. Although I suppose it's not every day it was half a billion dollars. 200 million it was. They're always fucking over. <laughs> <laughs> Who was up there for it in that fucking cannon? The FBI lad probably hasn't had this much fun since they burnt all those kids at Waco. Okay. <sighs> I mean, I just... <laughs> I'm not gonna beg you to help me if I know how to die. Good for you. I'll see ya. Fuck. Now, Cheadle, you know better. You know that man's gonna come swimming up. <laughs> oh. You from the press? No. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, that's a good one now. Moody. You can use it for the cover of your book. Cover of your what book? Book? Need a happy ending to sell it. 
Sure, didn't you file a multi-million dollar drug trafficking operation and knock off a trio of drug barons to boot? What's unhappy about that? Lost a good man. Oh shit! <laughs> Lost a good man, I knew it! He's dead. No, he's not. It's Boyle. Either burn up or drown. But he was a really good swimmer. I'm oh, sorry, son. That was just bullshit. Sure, it's easy enough to look up anyways. Maybe not the actual Olympics. He could have been in, like... What other Olympics do they have? Special Olympics. The, uh... I can't tell if you're really motherfucking dumb or really motherfucking smart. He's a genius. Well, let's see. There's... I'm trying to think of what... Are there other Olympics? Could have been. Outside the door. I hate... Are we really not going to see that he's still alive? This is upsetting. Thank you, John Michael McDonough. You did good. I think that's it for the movie. I'm like processing. So, first of all, it's been a minute since I've even seen like a dark comedy. So, I'm just, I'm kind of like, uh, I'm not fully like here yet. Because I always forget like dark comedies are not like, ha 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 ha, hilarious all the time. Like, it's really like serious subject matter and just making it like funny. But, so let's see, it did not technically go the way of um, Hot Fuzz. They kind of just laid it all. It is Mark Strong, okay. Oh shit, I just lost, he was literally on the screen and I just missed his name. The Sir Davos dude, damn it. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what, Brendan, yes, Brendan Gleeson. You did a good job, Brendan. I like you, we're now friends up here in my head. No, I was saying it didn't go the way of Hot Fuzz, which I thought it might do, especially because of how they set it up. But that's why I was saying, like, I wonder which came first, Hot Fuzz or this, um, and by release, because uh, John Cheadle, executive producers, we're, okay. Just because I, I thought maybe one of them took inspiration from the other in that way. Uh, anyways, <laughs> overall, I do like this movie. I'm just, I'm so shook that I really, I was not expecting, like, I actually started tearing up a little bit because <laughs> I was like, the thought of like, Boyle not surviving this was like kind of upsetting. And I, I didn't think I was that attached to him. Turns out I was. He, he just gets in there, man. He grows on you. Ugh. That's why I say like, Brendan Gleeson, because here's the thing, any, someone else could have done that character and it could have been, but someone else could have done that and it could have been, he could have ended up just being unlikable. And so I'm, Really proud, well, I'm proud of Brendan Gleeson for doing a good, great job because he really did make uh, the character likable to me. Don Cheadle's character, what was it, Wendell Everett? I don't know, I don't know, sometimes I, I feel like I, sometimes I feel like I haven't seen Don Cheadle in enough movies because I feel like I'm always surprised by like, because there's always times where I'm like, like I see him play Rhodey, right? And maybe it's because like, it's such, like it's kind of sparse, like his appearances are kind of sparse and not, he's not, always like fully in there i don't know like in this because i guess in this i was like i don't know why i was like it, it's don Cheadle, but it's it's a different don Cheadle. it's so weird ah acting <laughs> it's acting yeah but it's still good it's still good everyone in the movie is i like the movie i really do to the irish people out there please let me know what is everyone's deal with dublin because this is i'm not kidding this is now the second movie and both of those movies bring up Dublin and just everyone's disgust with that place <laughs> and just like there's like a common just like I don't want to say it's hatred it's just like this common it's kind of like uh I'm trying to think of like a city out here in the states that like people are just like ugh <laughs> every time like no matter who you talk to they're just like ugh <laughs> that place <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Something, something. I'll think it's, I'll probably look it up and find out. I think it was really good. I just, I don't really know what to say. I'm just, other than the only thing I, the only thing I had a problem with was just trying to keep up with the thickness of some people's accents. Because I'm trying to think who was, it was, I, I think it was the dude, the dude that was being paid off. Not the one that was, uh, that went to go talk to McBride's wife. The other dude. But yeah, like that was like that's like my only thing, and that's just that's on me. Like I'm, it's it takes me a while to pick up on uh, with accents and stuff. And usually, like I will say, by the end of the by the end of the movie, 
I was definitely like it was easier to kind of understand um, through everyone's accents, like what everyone was saying. I don't really have anything. Oh, I said I was gonna look up all the. When did this movie come out? <laughs> when did this movie come out? Liam Cunningham. I cannot believe I actually remembered his name. His name is Liam Cunningham. Sir Davos. That's number one. Number two. Is there a date as far as when this was made? This movie came out in 2011. When did Hot Fuzz come out? I feel like Hot Fuzz was probably around the same time. Maybe they're both the same. Yeah, we received critical acclaim, box office success. <laughs> Cheadle and Gleason received acclaim for their performances. Good. Oh, Gleason got a Golden Globe Award for it? Or a nomination. Wow. Wow. It is the most successful independent Irish film of all time in terms of Irish box office receipts. Overtaking the win that shakes the barley, 2006, which previously held the status. Wow. I'm in, I'm not, I'm not shocked. I guess I am shocked because I guess I think there's a part of me that didn't think that people would even notice this movie. This makes me happy. Ah, oh, I love that when that happens. I love when that happens. I love when a movie that you think is like, did, is like really well done. Like, I really don't have much to say. Like, comment, like I, I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this video because I don't think I said much about the movie. Like, it is, I was so engrossed in what was going on and there wasn't much going on. That's why I said like the pa like the pacing is great. It's not slow. It's just nothing big and exciting is happening, which is, you know, that's me. That's my own thing. I've been on like a weird tear right lately of like like act like that was initially why I wanted to start this channel was because I was like there's a lot of action movies I've never seen and there's a lot of horror movies I've never seen. But as far as like comedies or dramas or rom-coms, whatever, usually if it if it's in the com comedy realm, I've seen it. And so that was the whole point I wanted to, that's why I wanted to start this channel. And yeah, I, 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 I <laughs> yay for this movie. This makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. I, uh, I have to read this stuff later. Anyways, what else can I say about this movie? Um, I'm just, I'm impressed. I am so impressed by this movie. I'm even more impressed that like, cr like, Critics and like the Golden Globes and blah blah and everyone and I'm I'm very impressed. That it's the highest. What is it? The most successful Irish movie? Like that is insane. That's amazing. That's so great for them. <laughs> like, wow, wow. I need to watch more Irish films. I just I'm sorry. I just can't get over. It. I think I'm just like I'm genuinely like impressed with this movie. Like number one, I'm just really happy it ended up being like an actual good movie, like a good movie. But also two, I think I'm just like I'm genuinely surprised not because it was a good movie but i think i was just genuinely su genuinely surprised because honestly a lot of movies that i end up really liking i should say the world does not necessarily always like so <laughs> the world of critics and like uh you know audiences and stuff they don't generally like a lot of a lot of the same movies i tend to love and sometimes it takes a while before people jump on board and like, you know, it's considered like a cult, usually it's like cult classics that I end up getting on board with a lot of the time. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could wax poetically about happy endings over and over and over again for like ever, but I won't. Yeah, I just, I'm just so happy that this movie, I'm happy this movie was good. I'm happy this movie was done well. I'm happy this movie got the recognition that it got. I think the only thing I'm not happy about is that I still can't do an Irish accent after watching it. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I don't think there's anything left I have to say to the Irish people out there. Sorry for my ignorance on your country? Is it a country? I know it's a country. I know it's an island. I know that for sure. Is it a country? It's a country of Ireland, right? Yeah. Well, do you say the country of England? Or do you just say the UK? Either way. Whatever. To my Irish people. I know I'm sitting here with like a leprechaun on my shirt and I got this like kiss me or I may not be Irish, but I can drink like one hat and all this stuff and I'm trying to like Irish it up. <laughs> but let me just say I've always had an affinity for the Irish and the Irish people. I've always loved the accents. For sure, I've always loved the accents. I'm telling you, well, people, when when Colin Farrell became when Colin Farrell out here in the States, I remember everyone freaking out and they were like, he's so hot. And you know what I did? I just wanted to hear him talk all the time because I just wanted to hear his accent. Because I just wanted to learn how to talk like him <laughs> or sound like that, like his accent. Is he from Dublin? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so there's that. So with all that being said, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful St. Patty's Day. I am gonna go. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. One day I will go to Ireland.
So I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do then, but until then, slanta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye, you guys. Bye, 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 bye.